Hello, my name is Julie McCrossan, and this is a video for cancer patients in New Zealand who've been diagnosed with glioblastoma. And we have information for you about a phase two clinical trial in New Zealand that is currently recruiting new patients. And three doctors are here who are involved with the trial uh, to tell us all about it. Welcome to our, our team. And I begin with uh, Mr. Agatha with Remazakara, who's a neurosurgeon. Hi, what is glioblastoma? And in a nutshell, what are the, the normal three key treatments people get? Glioblastomas, Julie, are highly malignant brain tumors. Uh, they affect patients of any age and they affect patients uh, in a terrible way because they don't survive that long. The normal treatment we provide is uh, safe surgical removal followed by radiation therapy and uh, concurrent chemotherapy. Why is it important uh, to keep trying new things like this new use of familiar medications in this trial? This trial provides additional treatment options that potentially could benefit patient survival with good quality of life. Now, over the last 20 or so years, we have not made any progress uh, in managing these patients. So this, this type of trial becomes critical for these patients. You're a neurosurgeon, sir, and I know it would be part of your DNA to remain calm and steady in all circumstances, but you have deep feelings about this, don't you, about the importance of clinical trials like this to try to help these patients? Oh, absolutely. You know, these patients and families, you know, they go through a tough gig. And when I see them in my clinic, you know, I wish I could do more. And th this offers at least some hope. Mm, thank you. Uh, Dr. Sui Tan is a plastic surgeon and research scientist uh, involved with the Gillies Mackendo Research Institute. Just before I ask you, Sui, who's eligible in New Zealand to join this trial, what is the role of the Gillies Mackendo Research Institute uh, in this business? This trial treatment has uh, resulted from work carried out by our team at the Gillies Mackendo Research Institute. We have identified cancer stem cells in glioblastoma. These are set cancer cells that are thought to be the origin of cancer, and they are responsible for the um, development, progression, recurrence, and drug resistance of cancer. We have also identified the regulatory pathways that could control these cancer stem cells. So these trial medications are aimed at targeting the regulatory pathways and therefore controlling the cancer stem cells and why I've last done. So it's really a development of ongoing work at the Institute. Now, the key eligibility criteria is a diagnosis of glioblastoma, and we'll give information for people about how to learn more about the trial if they're interested in joining it. But is there any criteria for eligibility you think it's important to put on the record now? Well, any patients diagnosed with glioblastoma and undergoing conventional treatment with potentially being eligible for this trial. Of course, there are some exclusion criteria. They have to be of certain age, for example, at least 16 years old. You go on the trial, they have to be able to swallow tablets. But these are all of medications. Okay, so 16 or over and able to swallow tablets. Um, Ramesh Pandey, Dr. Ramesh Pandey, radiation oncologist, the potential benefits for patients, could you just... Give, the, give it to us in a nutshell if someone's thinking of joining the trial. In this trial, we are prescribing repurposed medications in addition to the standard treatment for patients with glioblastoma multiforme or GBM. Participating in this trial will allow our patients to have more main benefits. The first one is access to this additional treatment. We have the experience and the research background to prescribe and safely administer all of the trial medications. This is very convenient for patients as they otherwise would need to find a doctor willing to help them to obtain access to this medication. 
The other benefit of being on this trial is the close monitoring and care that we will provide for each patient. There will be a rigorous monitoring of participants' health and response to treatment. We use regular blood tests and our trial participants will have access to the most advanced imaging for patients with GBM. Standardly, a brain MRI scan is used in monitoring, but by participating in this trial, we will use a positron emission tomography scan or a FET. PET CT to monitor objective response at no cost to the patient. This imaging is not otherwise standardly available. The PET scan will allow us to check response by visualizing areas of increased amino acid uptake, which typically corresponds to regions of active tumor growth. Changes in the PET CT over time can indicate whether the patient's tumor is responding to treatment or if there is progression despite therapy. The third benefit of being on this trial is the contribution to medical knowledge. By participating in this trial, we hope to offer a better outcome for, first of all, the person participating, but also the participant will help many others when they come forward to be included in this trial. We will share this data to help future patients with GPM. The last advantage of being on this trial is the hope. This trial, if successful, will offer more hope for treating this dreaded disease. Well, I'm a cancer survivor myself, and we can all value hope above all else. Um, Agada, you're already recruiting patients uh, for this trial. What do you tell the patient, but particularly the family, when they're sitting in front of you? What do you want them to know, the family in particular? Well, when I talk to the patient and family, I say that this trial offers them some additional hope that may improve their survival with a good quality of life. And I say also that it is a really good option to think about in, uh, in uh, the, at the same time as having the normal treatment. And why? Why add an extra layer of complexity to their life in a stressful time? Well, it's a, we've, we've looked at the treatment in a phase one trial and we know this medication is safe. If it can provide these patients some extra time in their lives with good quality of life, you know, who doesn't want that? You know, we all want that. I want that for my patients, you know, and this offers that hope. Sweet Tan, no, we understand from that uh, the patient will have their normal treatment from their normal team, but there is also a, a coordinator of the trial who will be in touch with the team and in touch with the patient. Is that correct? Is that how the system works? That's right. And this trial medication should be administered during the patient's uh, conventional treatment. So it is important for us to coordinate the treatment with the primary cancer team. So we have a study coordinator and the study doctor who are primarily, primarily involved in assessment and according the coordination of the, of the treatment. So you make it as easy as possible for the patient and we'll give information uh, at the end of this video to explain how to contact the team to get more information if you're considering uh, joining this clinical trial. But I'll just get a summary, Ramesh, if I may, in a nutshell, the key messages you want the patients to remember. This is a New Zealand-based trial. We designed it here and are offering it to our patients. We want everyone in New Zealand with GBM to be aware of this trial. We add repurposed medications to your current treatment. They are regular medications, but used in combination for the special purpose of treating GBM. They are very safe. The medications are free, as is the use of the advanced PET scan used to monitor its effectiveness. You will be regularly monitored on this trial. The medications, if indeed effective, could help you live longer. If suitable, I would recommend you consider being part of this trial. Look, gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, I also want to thank you for watching this. And please share this video with patients or family or other clinicians whom you think may be interested in it. Thank you.